What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another awesome episode. So today I am visiting Matagorda, a place I haven't been in quite some time to be honest. Probably one of my favorite spots to fish on the entire Texas coast. However, I just haven't been. I don't know why I can't explain. But today's plan is to fish with my buddy Trail Chaser, David Foreman. He also has an Instagram account and YouTube channel. You guys check it out. He is a redfish guru. Uh, catches a lot of redfish. There's a direct link in the description box below. So what is the plan? The plan is to search for schooling redfish, tailing redfish, flounder, speckled trout, because Matagorda is known for good speckled trout and flounder. We're not going <laughs> to negate those at all. Uh, we're going to be using a wide variety of lures, bugs, paddle tail, top water early in the morning, whatever we can to get the bite. Thank you guys so much for clicking on the video. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe. Please, please leave a comment. I need you to leave a comment. It helps my analytics and it helps me interact with you guys. And I read all the comments. But yeah, let's get to it, man. Shall we? Catch some fish. All right, ladies and gentlemen, look how beautiful it is out here today. One of my favorite places to fish. As I mentioned in the uh, intro, I have my buddy David over there who's kind of lagging behind and that's the first. He's always the first to be out. But anyways, check out this beautiful, beautiful condition. For sure, God is so good. Look how beautiful this is. As I stated earlier in the game plan, it's going to be redfish, speckled trout, and maybe flounder. Hopefully we can do some sight casting schooling tailing reds in the grass flat but i'm speaking too early because the winds are kind of high and it's going to be not as sunny so i don't know what that really means it means well basically it means it's, it's going to be hard to see the fish in the water but it doesn't matter look how beautiful this is and we're still going to target some good good fish out here hey check out that sun coming up i know that sun looks freaking amazing right man that is awesome Beautiful, beautiful. That's one of those things I never get to see at the machine shop. <laughs> Oops. And this is the uh, old school David Foreman, the trail chaser. Look at that. You guys remember him back four or five years ago before he got his little skiff? He was doing this all the time. <laughs> I think his kayak is like eight or nine years old. Nine years old kayak. You got a couple holes in it, but it's okay. <laughs> it's so light it won't sink. <laughs> I want to catch me a mullet. Yeah, that's a mullet tail end. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Do you see the shrimp popping? Yeah, the shrimp popping. Let me cast at this tailing mullet. Mullet. <laughs> I can hear them, but I can't see them yet. Oh wow, nice. there we go. That was lucky. <laughs> Sorry dude. He's he's a good one. He's pulling bro. Caught him like right here on this apex of this grass line. All right, first fish on the board. I'm happy. Thick grass, man. Thick grass. Man, I love these maddy freaking redfish, bro. There's something about them, right? All right. All right, guys. First fish on the board. Oh, shoot. Well, there he goes. <laughs> he was about 20 inch. He was like a table fair red, bro. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, wow. <laughs> there you go, blind casting, right? Oh, that's a trout. It's a nice trout. Oh, no. that a trout? It's a black drum. Black drum, huh? Interesting. Good job, buddy. Right. 
There we go. Got something on. That was a lucky freaking cast. Just casting in the middle. He's just sitting there in the mud, I guess. Lucky, lucky, lucky. It's another go. I think it's gonna be another keeper, man. Very lucky. Oh yeah, he's got some pull on. Oh, it's a nice red. That is a very nice red. What? Actually, this might be a speckled trout by the look of it. Uh, if it's a speckled trout, this is a large freaking speck. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, if this is a speck, I'm about to go ape sh You know what I mean? Holy crap. Oh my god, it's a big speck. A fing huge one. Holy smoke. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, no way. No freaking way. Get in here. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's a giant. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No. We got you. Oh my god. Holy smoke, that's a freaking giant. Oh my god, dude. Wow. Oh my god, dude. This is a freaking. I think he might be pushing my PB. Oh wow. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, buddy. Oh my god. Look at this giant, dude. Oh my god. That's a beauty. That's a giant. Holy smoke, that's a big freaking trout. Holy crap, dude. Oh my god. I can't believe this just happened. Real fast, I got you on a boga. Let me see. Seven pounds, bro. Seven pound freaking speck. All right, let's get you back in the water. Dude, I saw you fighting. I thought you had a red. I thought it was a red too. Wow, that's a big monster oh my gosh we're gonna let her catch her breath and i'll measure real fast and let her go wow yeah, I, I thought oh you got a nice red dude that is a monster that's probably the biggest trout i've ever seen in my, in, my <laughs> in matagorda right well like i think that's probably the biggest trout i've ever seen from anybody catching back here well just anybody catching fish in general with me oh i don't think she's gonna be my pb though man i think my pb is like 26 and three quarters I'm thinking that's at least 28. You think so? I think so. Wow. Well, let's find out, shall we? All right, girl. Sorry. We're almost done with you. Promise. 25 and three quarters. Nice. We'll just say 25 and a half so we don't keep her out of the water too long. That's a beautiful trout. Go make some babies, man. For real. Come on, swim. Yep, there she goes. That's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God. I know Maddie is known for to have some big trout and there's proof in the pit pudding. Not my PB, my PB is 26 and almost pretty much 27 inches. But this, this trout was seven pounds, 25 and three quarters. Good God, that's a big trout. On the freaking paddle tail too, can you believe it? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Small guy. Just getting lucky, man. Just blind casting and really nothing to it. He has a pretty red. Not a big dude. <laughs> Don't get too excited. Look at that. Look at that red. That's a pretty, pretty golden red. See you, buddy. Nice. Okay, we got something on. It feels like a flounder. Speckled trout. Take it. <laughs> Speckled trout type of game. All right. Got him on the bug's hot head. He's been in the mud right there. See you later, buddy. <laughs> Cool. Cool. All right, we 
we found the first full of redfish. I'm gonna leave it for David, my buddy, so he can get him one. It's a small school, but nonetheless, I would say about six, seven of them. Um, I'm not sure how big they are, but it is a school, our first school today. And that's what we've been looking for when we came here to Matagorda. They're, far, they're kind of far away from me. I would say good 65-ish yards. Um, I need to get a better close. I mean, it is a school of fish. Redfish, I'm not sure. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah, right there. Right there. I want to kind of stay back. Yeah, that's a nice school. Yeah, definitely reds. Oh, yeah. David, right here. All you, buddy. Get your catch right here. See him? All right. I'm gonna kind of scoop back. I think they're coming close to me. Yeah, we lost them, man. I don't know what to tell you guys. <laughs> it's kind of my fault. I mean, I was trying to grab my camera and all this stuff. And one, there were two schools. One school was definitely redfish. The other school, David said, was a school of black drum. Um, I didn't get to take a good look at the black drum, so I can't 100% confirm that, but that's, he says he's never seen black drum school like that in this area, so that's, that's kind of that's kind of cool though. Hey, that was complete lucky. I was trying to fish for flounder there. I smoked by this guy. Oh my gosh. That's a nice fish too. He's pulling some drag pretty good. Oh wow. Yeah, it's gonna be a good one. He's just chilling right there at the grass line. I can't believe it. This might have been part of that school. Uh, I know we didn't spook them, but regardless, oh my gosh. Yeah, he's a good fish. I mean, good fish. He's a real good fish. We got gotcha. you. We got gotcha. you. It's a good fish. Good fish. What a day, man. What a day. Uh, touch over six pounds, so I would say about 20, 24 incher, 23, 24 incher. Nice fish. Were you part of that school? Can you let your friends know that we are not here? Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> nice redfish, man. Fishing the grass line. Literally right there. I got smoked on the grass line. I mean, structure, bait, water movement. That's what you need to be successful here off the Texas coast. All right, real fast, let's talk about the rod and reel that I am using to catch today's catches. And this is the old 18 suppressor light action rod right here. I have the Shimano Metanium. This is the shallow edition. I got Veribus 1.2 gauge braided line. And at the end, I got 12 pound fluorocarbon leader right here. Really, really nice setup. If you're looking for discount codes, for the old 18 made in USA suppressor rod, it's RX Singler 20, say 20% off your order. There's a direct link in the description box below. If you're looking for a discount code for Veribus, there's also a Veribus discount code in the description box below. But yeah, really loving this setup right here. So lightweight. All right, man, we caught a fair share of keepers. Very happy, very productive day. Um, yeah, guys, I mean, I hope you really enjoyed the video while you're sitting on that stall in the bathroom. <laughs> I'm just joking. Well, kind of, not really. But anyways, don't forget, guys, hit that like button, subscribe, leave a, leave, 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 leave a comment. I need you to leave a comment. It does help with my analytics, and I surely do appreciate when you do take the time out because I also read your comments. I take the time out, too. If you give me the time, I'm going to give you my time. But anyways, guys, thank you so much, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one.